lectures on digital electronics we are discussing the design of uh, sequential logic circuits we have discussed uh, sr latch sr flip flop nor latch nand latch and uh, jk flip flop in the previous classes so basically the flip flop is the bistable multi vibrator which stores a single bit of information so flip flop is a basic memory element now in this class we discuss uh, master slave jk flip flop and the d flip flop t flip flop and the applications of uh, flip flops and resistors and uh, what is flip flop so we have discussed uh, the detailed anal working of uh, flip flop and uh, it is a basic memory element which will store a single bit of information and uh, we have uh, classified the flip flops or is uh, clocked rs flip flop jk flip flop and uh, in the previous class we did not discuss about this uh, race around condition now let us uh, see the race around condition so here whenever in jk flip flop j is 1 k is 1 and uh, clock is also 1 then the q is toggled changes complements its previous state so this change of state will occur in the propagation delay of the gates so that is the delta is the propagation delay of gates now here now j is 1 k is 1 and the q is 1 if the pulse is activated then q changes from 1 to 0 so for the duration of tp of clock pulse the output will output will oscillate between 0 and 1 so that is the race around condition in this i will uh, this is the important concept then so i would like to tell you in detail what uh, actually it does it we know the jk flip flop is designed with the two nand gates like this this is the latch we know that this is the latch q q bar and the clock is applied here clock j and k and uh, the very very important thing is uh, here the q is uh, this q is fed back to this gate and gate and uh, similarly the q bar also it is fed back to here so this is the jk flip flop we know already we have discussed in detail but uh, you for example this is the these are the four nand gates with the help of four nand gates we constructed jk flip flop here for example the propagation delay of uh, the nand gate uh, is for example 5 nanosecond 1 NAND gate propagation delay is 5 nanoseconds let us consider so in the first level 2 NAND gates are there in the second level 2 NAND gates are there are there are 2 NAND gates for example a signal applied at this input stage will change and propagate at the output it will be reflect, reflected uh, at the output after 
5 nanoseconds plus 5 nanoseconds okay so in this stage you level 1 5 nanoseconds it will take time in the level 2 5 nanoseconds total 10 nanoseconds of time propagation delay is there so that is the propagation delay that means delta t is the propagation delay it is the 10 nanoseconds for the jk flip flop but mostly the clock frequency let us consider the clock frequency as uh, um, 1 megahertz so the time period is then 1 by 1 megahertz means 1 microsecond 1 microsecond so the time period of one clock pulse is 1 microsecond that is the thing okay one cycle this is the 10 nanosecond okay so let us uh, uh, show this in diagram like this so this is the clock okay. instead of uh, i will draw So like this, this is the clock pulse, uh, this is a 1 microsecond from here to here, uh, 1 microsecond, that means uh, positive clock pulse, positive clock pulse, let us take off microsecond, 0.5 microsecond time, this pulse width is the 0.5 microsecond, so 0.5 microsecond is very 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 big, when, when we compare with uh, 10 nanoseconds of uh, delay so for example uh, 10 nanoseconds 0.5 microsecond divided by 10 nanosecond okay uh, this is a uh, uh, 10 power uh, minus 9 this is a uh, 10 power minus 6 so 10 power minus 3 so 10 power minus 3 if you uh, take upper side 10 power minus 3 that means uh, 500 500 divided by 10 that means 50 that means 50 divisions that means each division is we have to make this pulse into 50 divisions 1 2 3 4 like that up to here you have to make equal divisions of 50 50 division you have to make this single pulse then in this case what happens is So for the race around condition, what happens is there is a JK flip flop here, JK flip flop, and the clock signal is there. Clock signal is there. Clock is the level signal, positive level signal, Q, Q bar. So this is the JK flip flop. Clock input is there, JK inputs are there, and uh, the clock applied is one megahertz. Sir. We have taken as 1 megahertz and each pulse is the 50 my uh, okay each uh, uh, pulse width is 0.5 microsecond so just now we have seen that now that means we have made 50 divisions this total level pulse positive level pulse we have made 50 divisions so that means Whenever some change is there at the input side, that is reflected at the output side within first division. Within first division. For example, in the first division, we applied j equals to 1, k equals to 1 and the clock is 1 already. 
it is level triggering so clock is 1 j is 1 k is 1 means let us assume previous state is 0 previous state is 0 so because previous state is 0 j is 1 clock is 1 k is 1 so the jk flip flop toggles to 1 it is toggling to 1 okay in the so in the next division also if you see this change occurred within 10 nanosecond within 10 nanosecond hence 10 nanoseconds is over so within this 10 nanoseconds observe in the diagram within this 10 nanoseconds this change occurred in the next 10 nanoseconds j is j j k and clock three are one already they are one so once again what happens is the jk flip flop treat the previous state as one and uh, hence because j is k is and clock three are one then this uh, previous state one is complemented to zero in the next division in the next division also what happens in the next 10 nanosecond in the next 10 nanosecond the same thing is available as input that is j k clock both 3 are 1 3 all are 3 inputs are 1 hence 0 made as 1 so like this this goes on this 1 is made to 0 this uh, because there are 50 divisions approximately we have taken example 50 divisions 50 times the j k flip flop toggles 50 times it complements its previous value finally what is the output approximately at exact calculation we have taken as example but in practical uh, the frequency may be something and uh, the gates delay may not only uh, 5 nanoseconds each uh, gate delay sometimes it may be 3 nanoseconds sometimes it may be some other value but because of this because the propagation delay is very very less when the when we compared with the positive level of the clock signal the problem here is the q output is oscillating between 0 and 1 it is oscillating between 0 and 1 within single pulse that is the problem so this is called race around condition that means we can't tell exact output of the jk flip flop after the pulse after the positive pulse we can't exactly determine the output of the jk flip flop why because it oscillated many number of times within this duration why it is oscillating within this one clock pulse many times why it is oscillating because the propagation delay of the gates is very less than the frequency of the clock pulse so that is the problem so we have to uh, that means actually our requirement is within one single pulse the jk flip-flop should uh, change one time once again i will tell within one clock pulse the jk flip-flop must change only one time but it is changing many number of times because of this problem gate delay is very very less and pulse width is very very high so that is a problem so this is the race around condition which is to be eliminated so race around condition is avoided if tp is less than delta t that means the clock pulse must be less than the propagation delay of the gate then we can eliminate the race around condition problem and uh, we use another solution also for this problem that is the master slave master slave jk flip-flop is introduced uh, to design uh, so that uh, race around condition can be avoided and the third uh, uh, one is uh, 
that uh, third uh, important uh, one is uh, instead of uh, uh, level triggering we use uh, edge triggering this is the problem solution edge triggering edge, edge triggering flip flop if it is used then we can avoid the race around condition problem so there are three solutions available to us uh, make the pulse width less than uh, propagation delay or use uh, master slave jk flip flop or use edge triggering type jk flip flop so let us uh, consider the master slave jk flip flop here uh, the first jk flip flop acts as uh, master and the second uh, jk flip flop at size uh, slave and a very important point you have to remember is that uh, there is a clock pulse here the clock is applied here in negative uh, inverted clock is applied to the second slave so that is the important point you have to remember with this we make the jk flip flop to ch change uh, only one time only one time so the problem of race is eliminated here here master slave we can construct with the help of uh, uh, like this so this is the one diagram one variety you have uh, this is the master this is master with uh, jk flip flop and the jk flip flop is in turn it is uh, realized with the sr flip flop inside so that is one so you need not uh, learn this so you can learn uh, this diagram this is okay uh, the, with the nand gates this is the suitable diagram which you can you have to learn you must learn this diagram so this is the uh, master this is the master jk this is the slave jk and uh, this master jk is applied with the clock and this uh, slave jk is applied with inverted clock with the not gate uh, it is inverted and given to the slave pot so this is a uh, the master slave jk flip flop here in the in this also the uh, the same two table explanation jk two table is holds good but the thing is uh, the last combination that is j is k is 1 j equals to k equals to 1 and clock is also 1 at this instant of time the flip flop is forced to work in a single change so that is the uh, exact one output is available to us complemented output so a race around condition is eliminated you observe here this is the truth table of the master slave jk flip-flop for 0 0 it acts as memory we already for jk we have discussed with this uh, for 0 1 it will like reset the this is the resetting q is 0 this is the reset and uh, for 1 0 we have the set j means uh, j1 means it is set so q is 1 and uh, j k both are 1 this is the one we have the toggle that means q0 bar it is the q0 bar available to us so that q0 bar means it will toggle the without any race it will toggle that means single type change so this is a uh, the operation of the master slave jk flip flop when the clock is high the master is high the outputs uh, q a master q responds to the inputs jk the slave is inactive and this output remains in previous state 
when the clock is zero the master is uh, inactive and the slave is active because now its clock is high the output uh, q follow the outputs qm respectively since the second uh, flip flop simply follows the first it is referred to as slave flip flop and the first one as the master flip flop hence jk master slave flip flop that means for example let me explain for example j is a uh, For example, previous state is zero, one, zero, one. Then uh, master to the master, I apply one, one. Clock is also one. I am checking the uh, uh, last condition only because all other conditions are similar. There is no problem with them. Okay. So the last condition I am checking, one, one, one. then what happens because it is previous state is zero this is one uh, this one is here feedback this zero is feedback here these are the feedbacks this, hence this gate output is one this gate output is zero and uh, finally this gate uh, master output is uh, one here it is zero here so in the first uh, clock so this is the in the positive edge this is active in the negative edge of the clock slave is active to the slave 10 is applied already 10 that means it is 1 here uh, and uh, here you have uh, one means clock is activated 1 11 means it is 0 This is the clock input now. This is one, so zero. Zero one is available to the latch, slave latch. So zero means it. Uh, this zero becomes one. Toggles, and this Q bar now, it is uh, one one means it is zero. It is becomes zero. So you see this toggled zero to one. Changed zero to one, so this is the there is no problem of race. There is no problem of race. That is the so now uh, let us. Uh, see the delay flip flop d flip flop so d flip flop uh, has only one input used for storing the information the output q follows the input d after one clock pulse only output q equals to d so this is the d flip flop so sr flip flop can be converted into d like this so this is the sr flip flop uh, it can be converted like this just uh, yes input you take you connect it to not gate not gate output you connect it to or here like this take the yes input connect it to not this not output you connect it to or that means so that is so whenever you connect uh, between these two inputs one not gate if you connect then it is called d type flip flop delay flip flop so this is the logic symbol of the d flip flop now you can also uh, by taking jk flip flop also you can convert uh, 
jk flip flop into d flip flop like this jk between these two now between jk you connect uh, not gate like this and um, then it is called jk uh, is converted to d flip flop like this d and a clock q q bar so this is the d flip flop very simple construction and uh, converting jk sr is very simple let us consider the truth table of d flip flop here now if you observe here when clock is zero the flip flop acts as memory element that means no change qn plus 1 is qn so whatever the change at the input it will not be detected by the d flip flop because clock is deactivated clock is zero so qn plus 1 is q now let us apply clock equals to 1 for the clock is 1 if d is 0 q is also 0 reset now if d is 1 q is 1 that means q follows d q equals to d so this is the delay flip flop So D flip flop with uh, SR logic circuit you can internally draw like this. This is the SR flip flop. We know that between two SR uh, inputs we connect a NOT gate here like this logic circuit. When clock is zero, when clock is zero, the output. Uh, retains its previous value that's all when clock is high and the d is zero then q is zero so let us discuss uh, in in detail but it is self-explanatory uh, let us uh, see example Clock is 0 means, 0, 0 means it is 1, 1 here, 1, 1 shown, you see, 1, 1, when clock is 0, you have the 1, 1, when 1, 1, whatever the outputs here assumed, previous state, for example, previous state is 0, previous state is 0, 0 means this 0 is feedback here, this 1 is feedback here, 1, 1 means 0 only, 0, 1 means 1 only. So there is no change. If we assume 1, 0, then feedback is here 0, it is 1 here. It is 1. Then say there is no change, 1, 0 only. That means the flip flop acts as memory element. It does not change its previous state whenever clock is not there. Whatever may be the input, G, d equals to 0 or it may be 1, whatever it may be, the same thing because clock is zero hence outputs are one one that's all first uh, set of nine gates so this is for clock zero next uh, let us see for clock is high and d is zero when clock is one and d is zero means uh, d is zero means here this is a uh, zero this is one because d is 0 means this is 0, this is 1. So that means uh, this is 0 means it is 1, this is 0. <coughs> this is 0 means it is 1 here shown, 1. This 1 is feedback here, this 0 is feedback here, it is 0, it is 1. That means it follows the q equals to 0. 
when d is zero, q is zero. That's all. Okay. Let us take d is one. Okay, when d is one, here d is one, here zero means so now uh, it is a uh, d is one means clock is one means one one is uh, zero here one here zero one means output is one for zero one means observe here automatically for one of the first NAND gate output is input is zero means output is one you see d is one means q is one that's all so hence the flip-flop is said to be in such state okay this is the timing diagram So observe here D is made to 1 here. So 1 means you see the during this positive clock hedge the D is 1 means Q is also 1. Because it is an uh, edge triggering free flop, edge triggering positive edge triggering free, free flop. At positive edges only the flip flop is activated. So D is uh, 1 at the positive edge, hence uh, Q is 1. Up to next uh, edge. So at the next edge, uh, the D is 0 here. You see, this is 0 this, at this edge. Hence, this Q becomes 0 here. So that is the timing diagram of uh, D flip flop. Next T flip flop. Here the T flip flop is uh, just uh, JK flip flop. You short them, yes or or JK, whatever uh, both the flip flops. If you short uh, the inputs of uh, JK, then you call it as T flip flop. You can call it as T. You see, J, K, both the inputs are shorted, connected together, and it is called as T input that is a simple uh, T flip flop. So, here let us see the truth table and the uh, diagram also. Here, this is the JK flip flop, and uh, we have shorted J input and uh, K input uh, shorted together, and we are calling it as T that is shown here. These are the indirect uh, asynchronous inputs, preset and clear inputs. We don't want to concentrate on these two because already we have discussed this. So this is a T flip flop. Uh, when the clock is zero, no change in the output. If the clock is high, when T equals to zero, Qn plus 1 is the Qn. If t equals to 1, then Qn plus 1 is the Qn bar. That is the t flip flop action. Observe here. When clock is 0, the t flip flop acts as memory element. Similarly, when clock is 1 and t input is 0. Then also it will act as memory element. When clock is 0 and t is 0 with clock 1. So up to here it will act as memory memory element. That means it stores the previous information. But when clock is 1 and t is 1, the flip flop will toggle. It will toggle. That means here printing mistake qn bar it is qn bar this is the
let us uh, consider this is clock is 1 clock is 1 and t is 0 let us consider t is 0 0 means j is 0 k is 0 so 0 0 means it is 1 1 ok now if the previous state is uh, for example it is 0 here it is 1 then these are feedback here 0 it is 1 0 it is 1 so the output is once again it is 0 only if you apply 1 1 means output is 0 this is 0 1 means output is 1 hence there is no change in the output if you assume 1 0 the same thing holds good for t equals to 0 it will not disturb 1 0 so 1 only it will be so this is the uh, that means the t flip flop acts as a memory element whenever t is 0 and clock is 1 and uh, let us take t equals to 1 and clock is 1 when both are 1 then what happens here 1 1 1 1 and clock is 1 and uh, let us assume let us assume this q is 0 this q is 0 that means then it will be 1 only then these are fed back how this 0 is fed back here this 1 is fed back to here so to this NAND gate you have 3 ones uh, input and uh, it is 0 output here uh, 0 1 1 hence it is output is, uh, is 0 only because one of the input is 0 means NAND gate output is 1 NAND gate output is 1 NAND gate output is 1 now you see this NAND gate output we can easily tell the value because its input is uh, uh, 0 output is 1 this uh, one feedback one one means output is zero that means it is toggling if you observe whenever t is one t is one the flip-flop is toggling it complements its previous value hence this is called a toggle state of the flip-flop when t is one and clock is one Now, this is the T flip flop uh, timing diagram. If you observe, let us consider it is the positive edge triggering flip flop. Let us consider for the positive edge triggering, this is the positive edge. This is the, the T value is here 1. Observe here at the positive edge, it is 1. 1 means uh, the previous value 0 here it is toggled to 1 it is toggled to 1 ok still the t is 1 up to here now it is made to 0 the toggle flip flop uh, is made to 0 uh, hence you see the previous state is carry forward and continued so at this positive edge at this positive edge what happens that t value is 1 now because it is 1 the previous state 1 is toggled to 0 here this is the 0 so this is the timing diagram of t flip flop so now the let us see the applications of the flip flops flip flops are uh, used uh, in counters uh, a group of flip flops uh, is called a resistor suitable to store the binary information so flip-flops are used to latch the information the d flip-flop is used as the delay element in most of the circuits delay flip-flops and rs flip-flop is used as a latch uh, as a bistable multivibrator the jk flip-flops can be used to build a counter a circuit that counts the clock pulses and the jk master slave flip-flop is used as the main counting device
so applications of registers uh, registers topic uh, we did not discuss it but uh, time delay purpose the registers uh, are used in the serial to parallel parallel to serial converter and in the transmission and receiver sections we use these uh, registers and the keyboard encoder it is a good example of the application of a shift register used as a ring counter in conjunction with other devices so ring counter when the output of shift register is connected back to the serial input then it is ring counter they are used for controlled state counters let us see the ic's available in the market uh, what are the ic's available in the market you see this is the uh, 74279 this is the sr latch this is the sr latch so this sr latch is there are four latches in a single chip i see and uh, these are the s r inputs and s1 r1 uh, s1 s2 inputs are available here r input is available r1 and you have the q output here you see this is the and uh, this 74279 is widely used as a latch i see there are four quad hence it is called called quad sr latch i see 74279 and cmos ic is also available uh, this is the cmos ic available to us this is the quad three state nand sr latch 4044 so two ic's we have seen Number one, 74 series, TTLIC 74279, this is the TTLIC, SR latch, SR flip-flop and uh, NAND latch, RS latch is for the uh, CMOS logic, CD4044. Okay. Similarly, uh, JK flip-flop uh, is available, uh, here if you observe, this is the JK flip flop 40 IC CD 4027. This is the IC number. This is the uh, dual JK master slave flip flop. JK flip flop. This is the JK master slave JK. So two flip flops are available in a single IC. Next 4013 is the D flip flop. 4013 is the D flip flop ic so there are in this ic there are two uh, flip flops are available in this uh, 4013 d type d flip flops two d flip flops are available next uh, 7473 7473 this is uh, exclusively uh, master slave jk flip flop uh, this is another example with clear uh, input also this is available 747 <coughs> for CMOS this is the uh, TTL this is the TTL similarly for uh, another uh, TTL 74175 D type flip flop 7417 D type flip flop this is also TTL. The flip flop which eliminates the race condition effectively is Master Slave JK flip flop. The preset and clear data inputs also called as asynchronous. So now we have discussed uh, today master slave JK flip flop and uh, applications of uh, flip flops and resistors and DT type flip flops. We have seen 
the IC numbers of uh, different uh, flip-flops. Okay, thank you.